Good evening, I'm Gia Zengit and welcome to The Social Talks. Our top story tonight, unravelling legal ownership in AI art. In a rapidly evolving landscape where technology meets creativity, the world of artificial intelligent art has presented a unique set of challenges when it comes to determining legal ownership. Today, we delve into the complexities surrounding this issue and explore the ongoing efforts to establish clear guidelines. As AI-generated artwork continues to captivate audiences and gain value in the art market, questions regarding intellectual property rights, copyrights and ownership have taken centre stage. Who owns the right to an artwork created by a machine? Can an algorithm be considered an artist? And if so, who holds the copyrights? The intersection of AI and art presents a fascinating but challenging legal landscape traditional copyright laws were not designed to address creations made by algorithms. Courts are grappling with the definition of authorship and ownership in the context of AI-generated art. We're witnessing a shift in legal perspectives to adapt to this new reality. Meanwhile, in the art market, the demand for AI-generated pieces is skyrocketing. Collectors are eager to own these innovative creations, raising concerns about the potential for disputes over ownership rights. It's crucial for art community and legal experts to work together in defining a framework that respects both the creativity of AI and the contributions of human creators. Finding a balance that acknowledges the collaborative nature of AI art is key. In response to these challenges, legal experts are working towards developing new frameworks and guidelines to navigate the unique legal terrain of AI art. Governments and international bodies are being called upon to update existing laws to accommodate these technological advancements. The compelling case study regarding the infamous portrait of Edmond de Molme, an example in which 2018, the Paris-based art collective Obvious created a stir in the art world with their AI-generated masterpiece. Using generative adversarial networks, the team developed a fictional portrait that blurred the lines between human and machine creativity. The portrait wasn't just a digital creation, it became a physical piece of art that garnered significant attention. In October 2018, Percy's auction house made history by auctioning the portrait of Edmond de Molnay. The sale raised eyebrows and ignited a broader conversation about the commercial viability and value of AI-generated art. The sale of this AI-generated portrait brought about legal quagmire. Questions were arose by who held the right to the artwork the artist who programmed the algorithm, the machine itself, or perhaps the collective as a whole. This case underscored the challenges traditional copyright laws face when applied to AI-generated creations. The auction of the portrait market turning point in the art world, signalling a growing acceptance of AI-generated art in the traditional market. However, it also promotes discussion about the need for updated legal frameworks to address these complexities surrounding ownership authorship and intellectual property in this emerging field. The case of Portrait of Edmond de Molme serves as a powerful example of the legal challenges inherent in this innovative form of artistic expression. The intersection of technology and creativity demands a re-evaluation for our traditional concepts and legal landscape must adapt accordingly. As we unravel this legal intricacies of ownership in AI art, one thing is clear. The intersection of technology and creativity requires a forward-thinking approach. Thank you for joining us for this special report on unravelling legal ownership in AI art. I'm Gia Zengin and this is The Social Talks. Good night.